Thanks, Ron. Well, Jeff Head is here, and he's not playing a guitar, but he did bring <laughs> something really interesting. What is this tube, Jeff? That tube is a uh, uh, indicator. It's actually a. Um, a ruler per se. It tells you how much insulation you need to have in your attic. Well, that's an impressive uh, depth of uh, of insulation. Exactly. So, wh what what causes us to need this much? What are the requirements? Okay. Well, the new building codes that well they're not new anymore, but they have raised it up <coughs> to an R. 38. And what does that mean? I hear people talk about that on this old house, but I'm not sure what that means. Okay. The R, whenever you hear the R value, right. you, you'll have the letter R and then you'll have a number behind it. Well, uh, the R value is the resistance to heat flow. Okay. So, anytime you hear the word R, that means the resistance to heat flow. And the uh, uh, R value, now it used to be R19 in ceilings. Well, now they have made it to, a, it's an R38. They've doubled it. Um, so any, whenever you have a, uh, you're building a new house, you go any of these new houses today, they are loaded up with insulation, um, you, <coughs> almost uh, 38 to 40 inches of insulation. And uh, what is, what is oh, I'm this? I'm sorry, 14, I'm sorry, 30, 14, 15, 16 inches of, uh, of insulation is the uh, thickness. And is there only one kind you can have? Well, they, a lot of them, they'll take the, um, uh, the bats and they'll still roll those out. It's just easier to take this here. This is a fiberglass insulation, and you just take it and you put it in a machine. And oh, you blow it in kind of so I, I have seen that on this old house as well. Yep. Now, you have a picture, I think, of a, a, a roof or ceiling. That I have didn't a have... picture of a, what kind of prompted this. Actually, I blew the insulation in this, in this house today, in this particular house here. We don't have the pictures. Of it we're, we're looking for it. But, <laughs> but uh, uh, it, there was getting a lot of moisture. There was getting a lot of moisture in eggs, so we looked up in there, and uh, they didn't have any insulation. This was a room addition that was done about 20 years ago, and it had about an inch of insulation in it. And in a lot of places, when you look down, you didn't see any insulation at all covering the uh, drywall ceiling. And that's the problem, yes. That was the problem. So, um, um we took this in here today, and we went ahead and just blew, uh, blew the whole house in. Um, and I just got a feeling. <laughs> I just bet you that uh, he's going to start noticing it uh, immediately. Will he notice that? Of course, the moisture is going to be ramped down, but will he notice it in his energy bills as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, because you're, he, said, he told me, he says, my furnace and air conditioner runs all the time. Well, I mean, it was just running up through the, it was running up through the ceiling and then running up into the attic. And it wasn't the R value, because he had none. It wasn't keeping the heat and the cold air in. So I his see. air conditioner in turn will not near, well, we're not running near as much as it used to. Well, now, here, here's something to, to think about. If you are purchasing a house that's however many years old, does that come up in the inspection? Yeah, a lot okay, of times. Okay, so you can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, a lot of times the inspectors will climb up in the attic, and that's one of the things they look for to see um, uh, how much insulation is because that insulation will dissipate over the years. You got a 40, 50 year old house and it had, um, uh, mainly back then it was the bat insulation. Well, after all the years, it, it falls, it settles, it loses its, oh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. Well, it's uh, structure. It's yeah, going to flatten exactly, down, right? Exactly. And right. it's going to flatten down and it's going to lose its R value. So uh, a lot of times they will recommend going ahead and blowing some insulation up in an attic. Now, this is dry. I've seen the wet kind, too. I mean, like you're insulating walls no. and stuff. So this is a dry something you blow in there. Yes, that's a, that's a dry, um, it almost looks like a, uh, that looks like cotton candy. Yeah, it does. It looks <laughs> exactly like cotton, or a big thing of cotton balls. So when, do your company does this, your Jeff Head Roofing does this insulation mm -hmm. as well. And uh, to give you a call, is, how long a process is it typically? Well, this house that I did today was like 1,500 square feet, and I was up there about an hour, hour and a half of blowing it in. On today, when it's 18 today, degrees? Today, this morning. Well, that was loads of fun. <laughs> well, it, it's a two-man operation, You because I'm up in the attic, and then you got a guy down in the... Uh, uh, you do it outside because it would be a big old mess if you don't. Oh, I'll bet. So, um, yeah, he was down there feeding the hopper, and I was up in the attic just blowing it out. 
And if you, if you do, I mean, you can go to Home Depot. Any homeowner who wants to can go to Home Depot, rent a machine, and then blow this insulation in. But you have to be careful that you do not cover it up around the perimeter and cover up your soffits, your intake ventilation. Because you, you've shown us a picture before of somebody doing that, and that also is a recipe for disaster. Oh, yeah, it, because it, it uh, causes your house to quit breathing, mm -hmm. and it's very important for a house to breathe. You need to have the right amount of intake ventilation with the right amount of outtake ventilation. And when you um, hinder either one of them, it can be a mess. That's why you call the professionals. Thank you, Jeff. You're Happy welcome. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Give your honey you. some uh, insulation <laughs> for Valentine's Day. <laughs>